Imagine waking up tomorrow and discovering your job no longer exists. Robotics and AI. So once you have self-driving cars and you have autonomous humanoid AI uh, over the next decade, that will become free. It's scale AI with generative capabilities and generative model that understand the physical world. We call it Cosmos. Hours of work without any problems. It was like an iPhone moment happening with humanoids. Like it's gonna be, this is gonna happen right now. Robots have taken over. Billions could be left jobless. Are we doomed or can we survive this technological tsunami? According to McKinsey, automation could replace nearly 30% of all jobs by 2030. The clock is ticking. Here's exactly what's at stake. Coding, data analysis, web development, writing, graphic design. These jobs and many others will be fully automated by AI. Tesla's humanoid robot, Optimus, is designed for mass production. It's going to be the best-selling car on Earth again this year. Years from now, uh, autonomous cars are going to be everywhere. Primarily going to be Teslas, by the way. <laughs> but autonomous Teslas will be everywhere. Even without the, the cyber cab, uh, we still actually have a gigantic fleet. Elon Musk believes it will soon take over repetitive, physical tasks. NVIDIA open source humanoid robot will democratize robotics, accelerating innovation and automation. Hey Blue, how are you doing? How do you like... How do you like your new physics engine? You like it, huh? Yeah, I bet. I know. Tactile feedback, rigid body, soft body, simulation, super real time. Can you imagine just now what you were looking at is com complete real time simulation? This is how we're going to train robots in the future. Uh, just so you know, Blue has uh, two computers, two NVIDIA computers inside. Look how smart you are. Yes, you're smart. Okay. All right. Hey, Blue, listen. How about let's take them home? Let's finish this keynote. Our robotics has been making enormous progress. And today we're announcing that Groot N1 is open sourced. Well, have a great GTC. Thank you. Bill Gates predicts i-powered robots will take over jobs we assumed were safe, including healthcare and... The era that we're just starting is that intelligence is rare, you know, a great doctor, a great teacher. And with AI, uh, over the next decade, that will become free, commonplace. You know, great medical advice, great tutoring. And Anthropic it's CEO, kind of profound because Dario it solves Amadeus all these specific problems. Like we don't have enough doctors or, you know, mental health professionals. Uh, but it brings with it kind of so much change. You know, what will jobs be like? Should we, you know, just work like two or three days a week? Uh, so I, I love the way it'll drive innovation forward. But I think, you know, it's a little bit unknown. Yeah. Will we be able to shape it? Uh, and so legitimately, people are like, wow, this is, this is a bit scary. It's completely new territory. I mean, will we still need humans? Uh, not for most things. Uh, you know, we'll decide. <laughs> I mean, hosting a talk show, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> You're gonna need, really? Well, we'll decide, you know, like baseball. We won't want to watch computers play baseball. That's correct. Uh, yeah. And, you know, so there, there'll be some things that we reserve for ourselves. But in terms of making things and moving things and growing uh, food, over time, those will be basically solved problem. The humanoid robot is like the ultimate deployment vector for AGI. You went from uh, a cold start 
in 31 months to shipping your first robot. We are designing a new hardware platform every 12 to 18 months. Like by, by the time I filed, filed the C-Corp, we had the robot walking in under 12 months. I think you're gonna see it in the coming years, being put into homes just through speech, be able to do like very long horizon hours of work without any problems. There's like an iPhone moment happening with humanoids. Like it's gonna be, this is gonna happen right now. The relation I do is if I, if I was gonna lease a $30,000 car, it's about 300 bucks a month which is, by the way, $10 a day and 40 cents an hour. So here's my question. How many of these humanoid robots would you own at 300 bucks a month? Operating 24 seven, no complaints, no fights with the girlfriends or boyfriends. I mean, the number could well be multiple per human. Yeah, you're gonna want one. They're gonna see, like I woke up like I wake up every morning and help unload the dishwasher and pick up kids' toys. Like I never want to do any of that ever again. <laughs> like, like, you know, it's just like not like something I need to be doing when I get home or I'm at, I'm at the house. Uh, we really haven't had a lot of innovation in the home for like almost 50, 70 years. We have like same appliances, same stuff. Old robots, we call them dishwashers now. Yeah, they're just like been around for a long time. Yeah. yeah. And we're, us humans are having to like work with it, right? Like we have to work with that machine every day and it's just, it's like not something you'll do anymore in the future. You'll just like talk to the robot and have it do it. It'll be on a schedule. Any moment you can just call it, text it, talk to it, and it's asking it to do stuff and it'll just go do it. It'll know you better than, it'll know you just like yourself. I remember a couple of years ago, I'm very proud, uh, bold. The AI and robotics wave isn't slowing down, it's accelerating. Jobs will vanish, but new opportunities are emerging for those who prepare today. In my next video, I'll reveal exactly which skills you need to learn now, which careers you should target, and how to thrive, not just survive, in the age of robots and AI. Don't get left behind. Click subscribe and hit the bell icon right now. Your career, your future, depends on it.